Hey everybody, this is Rich. This video is going to cover some examples of how to create dynamic slices in AppSheet for use with your different views. Dynamic slices allow you to use AppSheet's capabilities and built-in functions to create views that change based off of time, location, the user that's logged into the email. We'll use this task management app as an example as we create some dynamic slices. Please look at the video about creating slices in AppSheet. And that video covers full details of how to create and manage your slices in AppSheet. So I'm gonna start here by opening up a new slice, okay? So the first example would be the case of creating a slice that is time-based. So for example, if I wanted to create a view for my users of all the tasks that are in the current day. First, I need to create a slice that queries the data from the table that is relevant for that view. So in this case, we're gonna call this new slice today's tasks, and this will be connected to the task management table. And under row filter condition, we're gonna describe what we're looking at AppSheet to do with the slice formula itself. So we're going to say start date is today. And you'll see AppSheet's going to recommend some formulas for you to use. App, you know, the one we're looking for is not there. So we can go ahead and create a custom expression as well. And we're going to reference the start date column. And we're going to set that equal to today. So today is a function that you can call at any time throughout the different formulas in your app and it will populate the date and you can easily do comparison operators in your formulas to generate that view so now i'm going to go ahead and save that and now that i've created this slice i can then create the accompanied view with that slice we'll call it today's tasks again and for the data, we'll select today's tasks. And we'll give it the appropriate layout. I'm just going to choose a deck view for simplicity purposes. And we'll change, change some of the fields around to make it more presentable. And then we'll go ahead and hit save. So after I hit save, we'll see our new view that we created here in the application, in the app emulator and the original view that existed before that shows all the tasks. So we have all the tasks shown in this view, and then we would expect to see these two tasks in the new view we created. So when we click on it, we'll see those two tasks in that view. So that's just one simple example of how you create dynamic tasks. So tomorrow when I look at this, it'll look completely different. And that's because we're using that today function inside of the slice to dynamically create these views anytime someone views the application itself. In addition to today, there's also several other functions we can go over that are, are useful. If I wanted to create slices in relation to the individual using the application, I could use this function called user email. And this will pull the email address of the user. Another function that can be used is here. Here retrieves the GPS lat long coordinates of the user that's using the app itself. I can combine this with a distance function, for example, where I compare and create measure the distance between the location of the user and say the lat long coordinate of the task in this task app. So I have a column here that describes or that captures the lat long coordinates of a task. And with the distance function, I could generate a distance, and then, and then I can compare that to some threshold I want to set. So maybe I want to view all tasks within 10 kilometers. I could basically do, you know, basically compare the result of the distance and make sure it's less than 10. And this together would create that dynamic slice based off of where the user is actually moving around where they're located and show tasks relevant to their location within 10 kilometers. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and have a good one.